Mastering ethical hacking in 2025 doesn't have to be overwhelming. But here's the deal. The tools you choose can make or break your learning journey. That's why I've picked 5 must-have tools that every beginner needs to start strong. Whether it's mapping out networks or automating database testing, these tools help you spot vulnerabilities and learn how to think like a hacker. If you are ready to take your first steps into ethical hacking or level up in 2025, stick around because I'm breaking down the 5 tools that you need to succeed. Let's kick things off with Nmap. It's the tool I use to figure out what's happening on a network. So, think of it as the detective that helps you uncover open ports, running services and even vulnerabilities. Nmap is essential because it gives you a complete picture of how a network is set up. So it's not just about the scanning. It helps you spot weak points, map out operating systems and even check for vulnerabilities using its script engine. It's an absolute must for understanding networks. I have already learned the basics like running SYN scans and detecting services, but now I'm focusing on using the Nmap script engine. To achieve this I'm using Hack the Box and my goal is to turn Nmap into a tool that I can rely on uh, for any network scan, no matter the complexity. Next up is SQL Map, a powerful tool for automating SQL injection attacks. SQL Map is designed to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in web application databases, making it incredibly efficient for uncovering sensitive data. SQL injection is one of the most dangerous vulnerabilities in web applications and SQL Map simplifies the process of finding and testing these weaknesses. I've tried SQL Map but I'm still at the beginner stage. So my first step will be learning its basic commands like using its switches. From there, I will explore how to bypass web application firewalls, how to extract data like tables and columns and so on. To achieve this, I will use platforms like BWEP and if you are interested in installing BWEP on your VM, then watch this video here where I show you step by step how to do it. Also, I'll be using platforms like Juice Shop and Hack the Box. Next we have Puff. Puff is short for Fuzz Faster You Fool and is a web fuzzing tool designed to discover hidden resources, files, directories and parameters in web applications by brute forcing HTTP requests. Puff is important because discovering hidden endpoints or misconfigured files is a key part of a web application penetration testing. These endpoints often expose sensitive data or functionality that attackers can exploit. I have already learned the basics like brute forcing directories using word lists like setlists, but now I'll focus on fuzzing parameters by integrating it with Burp Suite. I learn how to optimize fub for speed and timeout settings, experiment with costume headers, tokens and payloads for more advanced fuzzing. To achieve this, I'll use platforms like Hack the Box to explore advanced use cases and refine my approach. Now let's talk about Burp Suite, a tool I've used before but just scratched the surface. It's like an all-in-one platform for web applications. Whether it's intercepting HTTP requests or scanning for vulnerabilities, it has everything needed to explore web security. Burp Suite is important because it integrates a variety of tools into one cohesive platform. This makes it great for identifying vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting, SQL injection and for testing how web apps handle requests. I have used Burp Suite to intercept requests, uh, perform basic testing, but now I want to expand my knowledge. So, my focus will be better understand tools like intruder, repeater, etc. I will also explore burp extensions to enhance its functionality. To achieve this, I will use platforms like WebGoat and Juice Shop. Our last on the list is AI. Let's be real, AI is everywhere right now. It's no longer a futuristic idea. Now, we have two options. We can either panic about it replacing us 
and make us obsolete, or we can learn it and use it to level up our skills and stay ahead of the curve. Guess which option I'm choosing? Exactly. My goal isn't just to understand AI, but to master it. So learn how to use it proficiently and strategically. So far, I've been using ChatGPT for a lot of my tasks. But there are tools that I'm excited to explore next year that will take things even further. One tool is Fabric AI. This tool is perfect for refining prompts and creating tailored outputs. It lets you pass in knowledge, structure your inputs more effectively and produce results way more specific. So, it's like making AI work smarter and more efficiently to deliver exactly what I'm looking for. Another tool is Olama by Meta. Imagine having a private AI running locally on your machine. With Olama, I plan to take automation to the next level, not just for managing my notes and organized write-ups, but also for creating workflows that enhance both my hacking and work processes. Beyond these tools, I'll focus on building my own knowledge base. This isn't just about documenting my journey, it's about creating a system that complements my AI tools. Whether it's automating repetitive tasks, cataloging solutions I've already tried, or sharing resources with others, it will be a key part of how I grow and work smarter. I believe AI is here to change the world. But the question is, will it shape us or we will shape how we use it? And this is it guys, these are the 5 tools that I'm mastering in 2025 to take my skills to the next level. Now tell me, are you already using any of these tools or planning to learn them? Let me know in the commentary section down below because I would love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. And if you want to keep the momentum going and learn about cross-site scripting, then check out this video here. See you next time, stay curious, stay safe, and let's make 2025 the year that we all level up together. Bye bye!